Once a month, a University of Arizona club holds a free medical clinic for locals in Agua Prieta, Mexico. De la espalda a la pierna. They're the Flying Samaritans, and they wake up at 6 a.m. to drive to Mexico. About 20 undergraduate students and a few medical professionals run this clinic. This Saturday was the first time for almost all the students that went. I'm a little nervous just because I haven't been really, I haven't really spoken Spanish in the medical setting. I mean, I speak, you know, conversational. They help out wherever they're needed, and it runs similar to most other medical clinics, just on the other side of the border. Patients sign in and then wait in a room to get triaged. There, UA students check their blood pressure, temperature, heart rate, height, health history, and blood sugar for those that are possibly diabetic. There are other groups that come to Mexico that do low-cost or free medical clinics like the Flying Samaritans, but they often get very overwhelmed with people. There's a very high demand for medicine and they always come. The wait time was a little bit longer Saturday, but the club did help 35 patients with two doctors and one nurse practitioner. When they have five doctors, they've helped as many as 70 patients in a day. One Mexican woman came into the clinic because her one-year-old had a cough. The doctor diagnosed him and sent them away with a slip. After the doctor sees the patients, they bring their prescription slip over here to the pharmacy, where the Flying Samaritans have created a collection of medicine that they bought back in Tucson. The medical instructions are written in Spanish for them, and the patients are good to go. The woman said that although they didn't have every medicine the doctor ordered for her son, she was still satisfied because everyone was so friendly and it was a free service. Smith says that the unique thing about the Flying Samaritans is that their students and doctors get to know what it's like to treat patients from the good of their hearts. We're helping people get that care and diagnosing them with things that they might not know they have or, you know, and it feels good to do something on a Saturday, not, you know, something productive and it makes me feel good that I can help, so. Smith also says that the general members in the club have to be brave and motivated to go. They're always looking for new students that want to help out. I'm Nikki Helms, reporting for Border Beat.